Welcome back to, to this part. Now we're going to look at drivers and um, how, to, how to snag the installation files and keep them for in situations where you have the same type of machine and you don't have to go searching for it all the time. Um, now in this case we're going to use the driver we installed for the accelerometer. Um, obviously Windows Update does find it. Um, but there could be a situation where it didn't, and you'd have to go and search on the web to, you know, to to find the driver and install it. Now, typically, these are the support pages of the manufacturer. Type in the the serial number, and you know, you'll sort of find accelerometer or something. <coughs> Download that, and install it, and having done that, we're now um, going to go and find out what it did with the with the files. So, first of all, let's um, just have a look at device manager. Now this was a system device somewhere. STM, there it is. So SMO um, and the device is 8810. Okay, so what we'll do is open up a command prompt. I'm going to open it as administrator just in case we run into snags. Now the the, the install files are actually in uh, the driver store, so CD. Okay, and in here there's a file repository. Now we're going to find the um, the vendor ID, I think. SMO with find string. We're going to look in all the subdirectories and we're going to look in the inf files. <coughs> Here's the driver information files. Okay, so there it is. And um, we have a look at that. This is the contents of the um, of the of the driver files. Now the cab file is extremely important. That actually has the certificate that the manufacturer has used um, to convince Microsoft to install it. Now, if you don't have that, nine times out of ten, it won't install it. Or if it does, it'll give you a, a warning. <coughs> Anything that's sort of automatic, like say Pixie, um, just won't do it. Um, the Imp file is, let's say, where we found the um, vendor and device, and the other files. PNF is the pre-compiled imp file, which actually may be used. I don't know why it's got bigger, but anyway, it is bigger. And uh, there's a sys file that also seems to be necessary. So what we're going to do is copy these onto a um, memory stick, um, and then I'm going to reinstall this system so it doesn't have the driver and then um, putting the contents of the memory stick onto the server will just install it um, you know, with, with the update from Browse My Computer. Right, so um, I'll stop here, uh, reinstall and restart the video when it's um, uh, finished installing and ready to install the driver. Okay. Okay, so we're back after uh, a reinstall, and sure enough, the um, accelerometer driver has popped back as unknown device. So what we're going to do is um, install it from the server, and I'll just show you the server. So I've loaded it <coughs> in the meantime into this uh, folder, STXL, and so you can see all the files that we had before. I was just going to show you the imp file, because um, I meant to do that before. Um, so the um, important bit is the device ID. Now remember the device ID was actually that one, 
um, 8810 but you can see all the other devices that um, this driver will um, work on so uh, sort of having this up your sleeve well actually this isn't a good example because you can get all this from Windows Update but um, in a situation where you found a driver that um, was say off the vendor's website uh, you only wanted to find it once um, you might find that, or you will find, that the driver will um, address a lot of um, devices um, of the same family and uh, you know it's not only the particular model of the um, vendor's you know, machine that you've got it'll, it'll, it'll probably uh, help in lots of other cases as well. So that's the imp file um, <coughs> but uh, the trick is now we, we, we're, we're going to install it off the network. Update driver. Browse my computer. And as I said, in our master image, it goes, goes straight to that directory. So include subfolders. And we're going to we're, we're, we're just show you how, how quick it is. There's quite a few drivers on that. We don't necessarily have to go to the folder that I, uh, that I created for this device. So it searches, and of course it's just doing a fine string. Okay, it's installing it, so it's found it, and it's successfully installed the driver. Close. Okay, so we've got to restart the um, the computer to really make it work. But anyway, there it is, properly installed. Right. <clears throat> Now the other thing that um, we need to work on drivers for is the Pixie image. Now the Pixie image um, will, well there's several boot files that you can use. You can use the standard boot file from Windows 10 or you can use the recovery boot file, um, boot.wim that is. Now um, I use the recovery one because it has more network drivers in it. Now the network driver is important for running that startnet script because it will connect back to the server and um, do the install. So in the unfortunate situation where you, um, you start it up um, and it's unable to connect to the server because the driver hasn't been initialized properly, hasn't, isn't running, um, what we do is add drivers to the boot.wim file <coughs> using um, DISM. <coughs> so next time um, I'm going to show you how to find all the missing drivers in a boot.wim file. It's, uh, it's a PowerShell script and um, that will identify the ones that need to be loaded and then we'll use DISM to actually add them. So that's for next time and I'll see you then. Bye now.